Hello friends, Doug Fink here. Another demo on my PowerShell AI module. I've added a function called Copilot. I've integrated Copilot concept uh, at the command line. We'll take a walkthrough. But if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, drop down the subscribe and hit the notification bell so that uh, you can know when I put out other videos about these different modules that I build and around PowerShell, etc. Okay, so I have a module called PowerShell AI, which integrates PowerShell at the command line with, with ChatGPT, specifically the GPT REST endpoints. Um, with a bunch of with, you can tap into any of those uh, models that, that are up there. Um, and now I've written some additional functions that give you a different kind of a experience at the command line. So let's take a look at what that is. So first up, I'm just going to do Copilot. And I'm going to pass it a string. I'm going to say use PowerShell to list even numbers in 1 to 10. And it goes up to the GPT engine in the cloud. And uh, you can see line 1 there under the queue, which is the question. Uh, it shows the what it would do to answer that question. Now, the way Copilot works is you give it a, a prompt. You ask the question. And what happens then is that on the round trip to GPT, um, I then lay it out in this box and I tell you the question you asked and I number the lines of the lines of code that came back. Now you have the option, it says run the code. So you can choose to run, you can look at that and then you can choose to say yes, run the code or no to run the code. And no is the default. So that if you press enter, you don't have to worry that uh, you're executing some crazy stuff. So I'm gonna press Y. So that's actually executing the code that came back from GPT. Um, and it makes it for an interesting experience. Let's try another one. So I'm going to say the same thing, but I want to, instead of doing even numbers, I want to do the odd numbers. Press enter, talks to GPT, and let's see if this actually works to bring back the odd numbers. And it does. Okay, let's ask another question. Use PowerShell. List files starting with test in this directory press enter get the round trip comes back now these are simple uh, prompts I'm using so that there's only one line that are coming back but we'll see something different in a moment notice I said list file starting with test and GPT comes back with the correct get child item fills out the, the, the parameter path uses filter and it uses a wildcard correctly and I can say yes run that or I pressed enter so I got no so it doesn't run it and that's pretty good. If I were to press Y, it would have listed the different files in, my, in this directory that started with test. Now for this example, this was tweeted by uh, Clem Messarelli, and he tweeted about using ChatGPT, and he put this in as a uh, prompt. Using PowerShell regex, uh, split user from uh, domain of email address with using match, um, and then he gives an example of what he wants to, to do the split on. Uh, so let's press enter and see what we get. So with Copilot, it actually lists out all the different all the all the lines of code that GPT came back with. It sets up the email with the example that's given, sets up the regex, does a uh, colon colon match, so it uses the uh, static method. Um, and depending on how you change your prompt, you can either get it to use a regex match or other uh, operators inside of PowerShell. So line four, it's pulling out matches uh, sub one dot value and domain is sub two dot value. And then it uses write host to print that out. So I'm gonna say yes to run that. And it's actually working code. Um, so that's how you can use Copilot at the command line and it can show you what comes back from GPT and then you can have the confidence of saying yes run it or no not run it. Down below in the description you'll see where you can install this from the PowerShell gallery and where the repo is. I've got discussions open. We're talking about different ways to use these different tools, um, different things you can ask uh, GPT models, um, open to next set of steps of uh, how to take this in different directions and make it easier, better, and more fun to use. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.